Okay. So there is detachment, which to some extent is in the mode of goodness. Yes. So normally we talk only of attachment and detachment, but yeah. I say that actually it's not just two things. There's attachment, detachment, and then there is commitment, which is something which is which is not the same as attachment, and uh, yes. which is significantly different. And uh, if uh, much of our much of our tradition actually is talking about people so the way i understand it is that uh, attach attachment is in the mode of passion detachment is in the mode of goodness and much of our sorry attachment is in the mode of passion then commitment is in the mode of goodness and much much of our tradition is actually meant to take people from goodness to transcendence so parikshit maharaj is already following dharma so much of the tradition is meant to take us from goodness to pure goodness and in that there is there is a condemnation of attachment which is in the mode of passion hmm? uh, so that one can rise to pure goodness but unfortunately most of society today is not at the level of goodness and at the level of ignorance we can say at the level of ignorance there is neither attachment nor commitment but it is actually simply we could say aversion to responsibility so it is it is simply irresponsibility and for a person who is not very evolved that aversion to commitment can seem like detach can seem like detachment mm -hmm. so detachment is is quite about goodness so you know so people who are in the mode of ignorance and if they are talked prematurely about detachment then they might just sink deeper into ignorance so first mm -hmm. of all we need to rise to the level of commitment and commitment requires as you said love in this world without that there cannot be any commitment so many times uh, that aversion to commitment when it is mistaken to be detachment then it can cause chaos because yes. no nothing can function in society unless there is commitment so i have your your response on this about commitment attachment attachment yes um i like your i like your um uh, analysis in this um i have written um about the two poles um humility and passion not mode of passion but passion in the sense of commitment in the way you talk about it um detachment in the sense of humility in the way you talk about it both humility and passion are epiphenomenal consequences of a full loving heart if i love you if i love you i will approach you with the humility of trying to understand you and if i love you i will exercise once i've understood you i will exercise a passion to see if i can help you but they have to be both too often in the movement we exalt humility as if it is a quality by itself humility is a natural consequence of love of prema beautiful passion is a natural consequence of love we need both once someone was telling me Garuda Prabhu, I'm trying so hard to be humble. I said, humility is not something you try for. Humility comes naturally the more 
that you love the bhakti process, the more you love the spiritual guides in your life, the more you love devotees, the more you love Radha and Krishna, then humility naturally comes. Humility cannot be forced. Humility cannot be practiced. Some people would disagree with me on that last one, but, but what I mean practiced, I mean artificially enacted. It's a natural consequence of love. 